Now in the next part we're asked to find where the circle crosses the y-axis. And I've just drawn a sketch here just to give you an appreciation of what's going on. We found out in the previous part that the centre was at minus 2, 1 and it had a radius of 4 units. So you're going to have something looking like this. And so I can expect a positive y value up here and a negative value down there. Now to do this where any graph crosses the y-axis we know that the x-coordinate will always be zero. So that is our starting point by just saying that when x equals zero we can find those points of intersection. Now it's up to you whether you decide to substitute zero into this equation or the one at the top here. I'm going to substitute into the equation at the top here, call it number one. So when x equals zero, we'll just say sub in one, okay, sub in number one, and what we have is that the first term obviously goes, and we're left with y squared, and then the 4x goes, 4 times 0 is 0, minus 2y, and then minus 11 equals 0. And what we've got here is a quadratic equation. Now, the question said, give your answers as simplified thirds, which is a bit of a clue, actually, that this is not going to factorise, that we're going to need to use the quadratic formula. So remember, the quadratic formula then, if we've got a quadratic equation, normally it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, but in this case it's in terms of y. So we can say that we've got a quadratic equation ay squared plus by plus c equals zero. And we should know that the solution of this would be y equals minus b plus or minus then square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So if we use this formula here where a is clearly 1, b is minus 2, c is minus 11, then we're going to get y. And the reason I know about the formula is, is because this square root bit will suggest using thirds. So let's just get on with that. And uh, if we do that, we've got y equals then minus b, so b is minus 2, so it's minus minus 2, so it's 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's minus 2, all squared, minus 4, multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is minus 11, and all of that is divided by 2a, 2 times the 1. So what have we got? We've got 2 plus or minus, and as for the square root here, this is going to be 4 plus 44. In other words, 48, the square root of 48. I'm sure we can break 48, root 48 down, okay, just by using squares of numbers. Now I know that the square root of 48 is exactly the same as doing the square root of 16, times 3. 16 threes are 48 and 16 happens to be a square number. It can be square rooted exactly. So that's handy. So if we do this now, the square root of 16 is 4 and we can multiply this by root 3. Basic rule of thirds. So if you want to know about that kind of rule, just look on my website under thirds. The, the tutorials on that and you'll be able to see that. So we've got 2 plus or minus square root of 16 which is 4 multiplied by root 3 over 2. Okay so just do that there. And we can divide 2 into both of these terms on the top. If we do that we're going to get 1 plus or minus 2 root 3. Just divide then 2 into both those two terms. So what does this tell us then about these points of intersection? Well their x-coordinate is 0 so we can say therefore points are starting with 0 
This lower point will be the negative one, that will be 1 minus 2 root 3. And as for this point up here, it's going to be 0 and then 1 plus 2 root 3. OK, so hope you've been able to follow that. And uh, that brings us to the end then of this question.